Congratulations on your results. It seemed to be another strong quarter. Did the component shortage uh, factor in at all? Do you expect this to become a problem in the second half? Uh, the, well, first of all, good morning. Uh, the strong result uh, obviously reflect uh, our ability to overcome, uh, which otherwise is a worldwide issue. It's not a PC issue. It's not a Lenovo issue. I think it's a shortage primarily driven, I think, from, a, from this increase in demand of all the electronic products, uh, I think, but not having enough supply. Uh, we have been doing it, uh, overcoming the challenges, uh, not only in this quarter, in fact, the last few quarters, uh, as demonstrated of having a very good set of results, or in fact, if you really look at it, uh, we have a record quarter four last year. Uh, I think we have a record year, and we have a record quarter one, and the results speak for itself that we hopefully that I think with our supply chain, uh, our scale, uh, as well as our experience, uh, we will continue to be able to deal with the challenge, uh, I think, successfully and deliver, uh, continue to deliver a very strong result. Do you expect that level of demand to continue with more economies reopening and employees returning back to the offices? Uh, yes, we do see that. Uh, I think the demand will not, uh, I think, as most probably thought, that would decline. I think there is, in fact, a uh, what I describe as a uh, fundamental change. I think that was primarily driven, or that is primarily driven by uh, what we describe as the digital transformation. Uh, in fact, the COVID-19 accelerated that trend, I think, in the sense that, for example, as a consumer, uh, I, I, because of you have the so-called hybrid working sort of environment, um, most people uh, apart from in the office, spend more time at home, and therefore they probably need a much better machine so that they can, I think, either enjoy life or working efficiently. I think at the same time, uh, the COVID-19 also drives the acceleration of digital transformation. Uh, and as a result, I think there are definitely requirements, uh, not only from, from devices, uh, but also from the services come along with the, with the uh, I think the device, I think we call it the new IT infrastructure or environment where Lenovo actually capturing uh, the opportunity of providing the entire portfolio as well as the services that help our customers to be able to use those uh, devices that we provide for so that they can uh, achieve a much better, uh, I think, operation results. So we are very, very positive and believe to... that. Sorry. No, I was going to say, and of course, getting back to investment grade was obviously a very welcome development. What's the balance sheet looking like, and do you think that can be maintained? Well, not only maintained, I would say that, in fact, we probably will continue to improve our balance sheet because I think getting the investment grade uh, from the credit agency, as well as lately, we also get uh, a revision upwards for positive outlook from two other, uh, I think, credit agencies. Uh, demonstrate that they also endorse uh, the business strategy that we adopted uh, that actually be able to capture uh, the tremendous amount of opportunity. I actually would want to highlight that while people look at Lenovo as we are clearly the number one PC player uh, in the world, but more importantly, apart from continuing to do well in the PC space, uh, we actually sort of move more, uh, I think, towards, uh, I think, providing service, I think, not just, uh, I think, providing the device, but also the services that come along with the device. And you can see that the new business group that we started operation this fiscal year, I think, show a very, very good, uh, I think, successes. And we definitely continue to believe that that is the trend. Yeah, services was a, a really bright spot, right? What's been driving that business? Particularly, you know, I'm curious if you see much of a shift in those drivers in the sort of post pandemic or emerging from the pandemic era? Yeah, I think two things. One, uh, as I said, the, the pandemic, in fact, accelerate the digital transformation. I think it's not just, I think, uh, the, the, the pandemic. Uh, the pandemic creates, uh, I think, some challenges uh, for a lot of companies uh, in because of the economic impact. And therefore, uh, the digital transformation is a way for many companies to help them I think to improve operating efficiency, to identify more, I think, revenue opportunity and much lower cost. And therefore, they obviously need the 
uh, I think the entire, uh, I think, portfolio of IT assets or IT devices. I think we call it the new IT infrastructure, which is uh, comprising of uh, what we, I think, some technical terms called client edge, cloud network, and intelligence. Meaning, I think, put it in layman terms, it's like PC, I think, mobile phones or mobile devices, and then you have edge server, mm. uh, cloud. So these are the devices which help companies be able to operate a lot more efficient than otherwise. I think in terms of leveraging uh, the data collected and be able to use the data to right. analyze the business. Now those sort of devices, uh, not only we have the ability to sell them all, uh, but at the same time, we actually help them how to manage because I think it is not an easy way. I think in the past, maybe you look at one individual IT device, I think company probably be able to manage it better, but you actually come with the technology improvement with a lot of right. new devices. So, Their services is very important. Yeah. Talking about the mobile devices side of things, what sort of impact are you seeing from LG's exit from the market, not to mention the problems that Huawei is facing? Well, uh, I think for us, we definitely, uh, I think, see meaningful or significant improvement I think in markets when LG actually, uh, I think, have a reasonable market share, for example, like North America. I think clearly, apart from North America, there are other geographies or other markets in which uh, LG played in the past uh, that actually open up uh, the opportunity. And in fact, uh, while we don't, uh, I think, uh, I think show separately our mobile uh, business, but I can show you that that actually form a key part of our intelligent device group, which actually been growing like 27%. Mm. And I can show that our mobile device, in fact, the, the growth, I think, is definitely higher or much higher, I think, with also an improvement in profitability of running right. that business.